bite's been pretty extravagant here lately. I'm not even gonna lie, so my expectations are pretty high today. We are fishing in a very new boat to me, and I'm super excited to finally get my hands on this boat. That being said, a few parts and pieces haven't shown up yet to make this boat 100% tournament ready. So, we're gonna be setting the season opener of the Cat Masters out, staying home, taking some time to familiarize ourselves with the boat, and in the meantime, hopefully catch some big old fish. Y'all probably ain't gonna wanna miss this. Y'all stay tuned. Just got set up on some nice structure. I'm gonna fish a ledge this morning. These fish should be transitioning back out to that deeper water as the sun comes up. Look at that big old nice rod box on this thing. Fit 20 rods in there, they say. I generally don't fish with 20 rods, but I do like the idea of being able to keep all my rods on the boat at all times, depending on what situations I'm gonna be fishing. Got our first customer of the morning. Drag's pretty tight. That might be the one. Or he could just be really pissed off. He's not feeling very heavy right this second. No? I 
think that's a pretty good one. Just going to reel that one in right there. And I noticed it kind of drifted back, and I realized that it must have must have gotten hit while I wasn't paying attention. And it must have drugged me up in something and broke me off. This fish is just doing whatever the heck he wants to do. This is the one we got up early for. He is not giving up. Not giving up. This is a pretty strong fish right here. Can't say how big he is, but he's stayed down right here at the boat for probably about two minutes now. And he ain't coming up. Oh, he's starting to try and come up now. <sighs> Thing is, you never know how these fish are hooked. You know, and how well they're hooked. In a perfect world, it's always right in the corner of the mouth with plenty of meat behind that hook, but this right here is exactly why i like a medium rod now generally i don't fish with a medium rod out in fast current but hey oh my back's cramping i'm out of shape i think he's gonna start coming up here in a second
this is gonna be a good one guys faux show this is gonna be a good one Jesus good gracious he's still taking drag ah jeez louise <laughs> yes sir oh man i love this i don't get to catch these things as much as i used to come on up here oh lord yeah i'm definitely out of shape i can feel this in my back pretty good <laughs> goodness gracious dude this guy is not giving up i don't want to give him too much more i'm not even gonna lie to you I really, really, really don't want to give this guy too much more drag. Because he still feels like he's pretty, pretty healthy. Oh, I see a swivel. But I don't see him. This must be one of them long leaders. Oh, man, I have a fray in that line right there. I can see it. I have a fray in that line. Come on, baby, please. Please. We should see him any second. Oh my gosh. There he is. That is a tank. That's a tank. Come on up here. Oh yeah. Come on. Nope. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Come here. Come here. Come up. Come on. A little bit more. That's a long fish. Shit, I missed him again. Oh my gosh, I can feel the freeze right there. He must have drugged me around some structure. I checked all these lines before I threw him in. I don't know how big he is. To be honest, I would have thought the way he's fighting, he'd probably be a little bigger than he is. He looks at least 60 though. This is probably one of the hardest fights I've had this summer so far. He is not giving up. There he is, I see swivel. Jesus. That might be bigger. This fish might go way over that. Come on. Come on up here. Come on. He's too far back. Oh, my gosh, this fish is not wanting to quit. Oh, my back is killing me. I ain't got no choice but to tire him out. I would take us off a spot lock, but I don't even have a trolling motor on the boat. That's a story for another time. I did have a trolling motor on this boat and it lasted one day. Maybe y'all will get to hear that story here shortly. Nonetheless, I'm playing on the rope today, so it's not like I can unhook that because I don't even have a poly ball yet Whew. jesus christ man this fish is just not giving up can y'all see that that's a toad that is a fat fish i think he's giving up i think he's giving up i think i can get him right here 
I think I can get him right here. Come on up there. Shoot. Not if you keep taking drag. I may just have to tighten it down. Just a smidge. I hope I don't break him off. I can see that line has rubbed something. Come on up here. He is not wanting to give up, man. Holy crap. There we go. Oh, shit. Well, uh, that was my fault. That's not the rod's fault. I kind of had to high stick that to get this fish in the net. That's just the way it goes. Look at that big old wide tail. I'm gonna let my back rest for a second. Jesus. All right, let's get him in the boat. Oh my God. <sighs> Guys, holy crap. Uh, uh, I don't know how big he is. That fish is probably at least 80, and I'm kind of skeptical about saying any more or any less. I don't even have a freaking scale. I'm gonna have to call somebody to get a scale. I might have to put him in the live well. That's a big freaking fish right there. Wow. This is a freaking tank, guys. My God! <sighs> Holy crap. I can promise you he's at least 80. This fish is probably a little bit bigger. Wow. What a freaking fish, guys. Holy crap. I didn't actually get a weight on this fish. We caught this fish mid-morning, and it didn't look like I was going to get a scale until anybody got off of work. This was in the middle of the week, and not that I didn't really feel like this live oak could handle the fish for that long, but at the end of the day, it really wasn't that important. Um, truly epic fish. I really wish I could have known how big that fish went. When they get that big, it's really hard to tell. Um, I can definitely tell you without a fact, without a doubt, that was one of the longest fish that I've ever caught. And I've caught a couple over 100. Um, wow. Super epic battle. That's probably the best fight that I've ever had with a catfish. Not just on camera, but ever. That was super epic. Super blessed to catch that fish. We actually caught quite a few more fish throughout the day, but I'm not a really big fan of those super long videos i don't feel like they do as well for me some people they do um either way i'm gonna shorten it up maybe we'll do a part two if you guys want to see that either way appreciate you stopping by and checking us out and sharing this moment with us maybe in the future we'll do some walkthroughs of the new boat um but in the meantime i'm sure we'll do some more videos here coming soon life has just been crazy this last year Things are finally starting to slow down a little bit for us. So, till the next time, guys, tight lines. We'll see you guys on the water. Be good.